when we're in a turn, we talk about our lift vector. That is where the lift of our airplane is pointed. Straight and level flight, think of the lift vector as coming straight out the top of the airplane where your tail is pointed. As you turn and you start to bank and, and create a turn, now you have your airplanes pointed one way, but you have a lift vector that is straight up, that is maintaining level flight. And you have another lift vector that is going off to the direction that you're turning in. And so a composite of those two lift vectors is where your airplane is traveling. When we're dogfighting, we talk about our G, our airspeed, our lift vector, which is where we decide to point the airplane so we can begin that turn. There's all these variables that go into it. But your turn rate is how fast you're going around this circle, and your turn radius is how big your circle is in the sky. So as the F-16 slows down, your turn circle actually gets smaller than your turn radius, right? We call it turn circle. It's more of like a sphere in the sky and it's oriented on kind of an angle depending on if you're descending or level. It continues to shrink down in relation to your airspeed, but you're going around the circle slower. So if you're trying to win in a dogfight, just having a smaller turn circle doesn't necessarily mean you're going to win. If your turn circle is really small, but you're only going that far, your adversary has a larger turn circle, but they're traveling three quarters of the way around it in the same amount of time. They're likely going to defeat you in that dogfight. So it's a relationship between turn rate, turn radius, G, power, and avionics. And that is how we talk in dogfighting. I'm going to start making a series of videos explaining some of the questions you guys have asked. They're great questions. Keep them coming. And I hope this one helped.